Okay, now I know what you're thinking. If you guys saw the title of this video, yes, I know it sounds clickbait, okay? But this story isn't fully about me, even though I'm in the storyline. It has more like to do with a chick and a teacher. And you know what? Let's just, let's just get straight into it. All right, yo, what's going on, you guys? My name is Bubba. And welcome back to another crazy video. So in this storyline, I'm not even joking. This was like back in high school. So we're not going to take it anything too serious and anything. Because I'm going to be honest, half of my high school days, I was just a dumb kid in general. Like people say like in the comments, I always read like oh this guy slept with literally every single person in the world and i'm gonna be brutally honest here yeah i'm not gonna lie i slayed a lot of women that's what happens when you start hitting that puberty stage and you know do the devil's tango at such a young age but i guess you know people are just so shocked and so you know crazed out by what happened and how my life went and everything to the point where i guess i'm gonna tell a story that's a little bit different than usual anyways though guys so this storyline takes place like i said back in my high school and you know it's just a basic day in high school i was kind of just chilling and everything and i was going into my spanish class so if you guys are wondering why i took spanish so apparently one of my friends said that like you know spanish girls are like really hot and you know a bunch of spanish transfers came down here and they were like you know taking spanish courses and not gonna lie spanish girls are typically hot like have you guys seen a hot latina like it's very common like i'm not gonna lie i've had my fair share of hot latinas okay well that's a lie probably one or two but i gotta be honest like spanish girls are like fine as hell so it's a win-win scenario but this story isn't about like me you know you know me getting with a spanish girl that's gonna be a story for another time so like the video if you guys haven't already for that but this story is about another spanish chick and our teacher so if you guys don't know we had a really nice like spanish guy teacher like he was a, i'm not gonna lie he was a charming guy he was pretty young he was like in his basic 20s and he was like a genuine dude like i'm not gonna lie like he was nice to me he was nice to almost everyone and it was like a win-win scenario for everyone i guess because he was really chill and kind of just understood us as high schoolers which is pretty weird because nowadays you can't really understand the average high schooler unless they're like they're blowing a fat cloud out of their mouth and you know saying some gang stuff i don't know i picture like every high school the same way nowadays but no typically yeah i'm not even gonna lie to you guys like he was a really cool teacher and i remember one time my teacher you know he was always eyeing this one chick and by eyeing i don't mean like looking at like i mean like literally glaring at like this one chick and this chick was really hot too and i want to say she was like 16 17 so yeah we were literally just sitting in our spanish class and this teacher was glaring and looking at her all the time and me and my friends caught up on it like we saw what was going on and we're like oh snap like the teacher wants to smash or in my words devil's tango in reality though like we were ultimately just joking about it like it was obvious it was a joke and it was just a joke that all of us just kind of had with us and all that stuff in the group chat and whatsoever but then something insane started happening so after a while we kept realizing that this chick kept staying after school and after class and was always like really attached to that class Room. I don't know if it was because she got like her Spanish vibes from there and stuff, but like, I don't know, this chick just kept staying in that classroom and she was really close to the teacher. Like it got to the point where after school, like they would kind of like be touchy inside the classroom and stuff. And it was ultimately the most weirdest thing ever. Like if anything, it was like in that like movie with like the teacher and like the student or whatever, where like they do the tango or stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't remember what it was. Some movie, I don't know. You guys can put in the comments down below, but yeah, no, like the, the, like the teacher got really touchy and stuff. And I remember as I was like spying through the window of of his classroom i saw like them like kind of like touching hands and stuff and that's where i got like really tripped up so once i saw them like touching hands and stuff i was like okay yeah something's definitely going down there's no way this teacher isn't sleeping with this hot teenage girl like there is no way so i ultimately got like really sussed out and everything and i remember i texted my friends like a picture of them holding hands and shit and my friends were all like oh no way like this has got to go to the principal like you know and i'm not gonna lie to you guys snitches get stitches okay don't ever snitch but you know me and my friends did decide to do a plan and i'm not saying this was a good idea but i'm saying it was an, an idea we had because you know we were really sussed out by the looks of it so me and my friends decided to follow the teacher right after school and see where he kind of went and stuff and kind of figure out if this was actually a true thing because i'm not gonna lie hand holding was really sus but you know like we, we want to make sure we actually confirm everything before we actually took it to the principal because i'm not gonna lie you know even though i said snitches get stitches if it comes to something severe as that you gotta draw the line somewhere so like i said earlier we started following the teacher around we started to see where he was was going we started to realize what he was doing like we learned more about this guy in one day than we thought and then instantly we started like following him going up the hill of some really high-end street or whatever and up in the hills were like usually like the transfers or like the really rich kids lived and it was like really weird for him going up there because he didn't live there i don't think like i don't know it seemed like he didn't live there but once we got there we realized that he parked in front of the girl's house like the girl like you know the spanish girl like our teacher parked in front of her house like i don't know how to explain to you guys it was the most weirdest thing ever 
ever because we were there with our car and he was there with his car and he didn't recognize my car thank god but i don't know i'm not gonna lie. i love my silica <laughs> cutie silica funny stories in that car in the future but anyways we saw our spanish teacher coming out of the vehicle and instantly right as we see him walk out the door of the house opens like the front door and we see it was the same hot spanish chick that was in our class now me and my friends instantly started freaking out like oh no way this is going down like there's no way this is happening and stuff like this is so bad this is crazy like we started freaking the hell out and instantly once we saw that me and my friends decided to do the most dumbest thing and pop out of the vehicle and start running towards him calling him a pedophile and stuff now i know what you guys are thinking oh you guys definitely want to beat him up or something i can already see it in the comment section oh good job you guys saved the day blah 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 well i wish that was the case i'm gonna be brutally honest so what ended up happening was that as we ran up to him and we started yelling at him and stuff and calling him you know these pedophile names and stuff we realized that the spanish girl was like trying to tell us something as we were like you know pushing him around and stuff like there was like five of us guys by the way there was like five of us so obviously this guy this teacher had no chance and stuff but this teacher was trying to explain something as we were like pushing him around and stuff like we weren't like beating up the guy okay yeah, let me just phrase that for a second he made it seem like we beat him up like no we were just pushing him around but as we were pushing him around this chick or the Spanish girl that was really hot pulled me aside and she's like, what are you guys doing? What, what are you doing to him? And we were saying like, oh, you know, this isn't right. Like in our country, like this is really bad and stuff like that. I don't know. I made it seem like, you know, we were being like superheroes or some crap. I don't know why. And then the chick told me something insane. She told me, no, no, no. He cousin, he my cousin, el casa or something like that. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh, smack. We did not just think that this teacher was doing the devil's tango when in reality, he was actually her cousin. Oh God. I don't know. I felt so bad because I realized right after that they were actually cousins and the mom of the like the Spanish girl walked out and she's like, no, 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 no. Like she was saying that like a bunch of times and cops came down and when the cops came down, like, you know, he were asking us like, what are you guys doing? Like, what, why did you guys beat up the Spanish teacher and stuff like that? Like we told him our side of the story and he started like kind of like chuckling kind of. He's like, you guys should have just, you know, took it to us. Like you guys shouldn't have, you know, argued and fought it through yourselves and stuff like that basically was telling us how we shouldn't have taken matters to our own hands which i don't blame him like he was right in a sense and i remember like you know the next day as we went back to spanish class we realized that the spanish teacher didn't show up for like a couple months right after that situation i guess like you know knowing that we were there just made him really uncomfortable knowing that you know he got pushed around by five teenagers <laughs> I don't know, dude. We were, we were some pretty crazy kids. And yeah, that's basically it for the story. I don't really know what else to say other than, you know, if you guys ever see something really sketchy or something really odd when it comes to a teacher and a student, uh, make sure you guys actually confirm what it is before you guys totally go out all out on this. Like, I know, I feel like I've seen this scenario happen in a movie one time, but not in the way I did it. And I always saw like people always tell me about this and me and my friends were reminded. Uh, and I remember me and my friends were talking about this storyline a while ago when we were hanging out. So pretty crazy stuff. Pretty crazy stuff. Anyways, guys, all right, yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. I remember this actually being my grade five year in elementary school. So if you guys don't know, in elementary school, you can't do much in elementary school. For example, you always have to listen to your teachers. You only get one teacher you always have to listen to. And on top of that, it's really not as fun as you think. Because if you really think about it, all you really have in elementary school is barely any freedom and you just having to learn everything that you don't want to learn. I don't know. It kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Anyways, back in elementary school, I remember I had this teacher that really had some major anger issues. Like for some reason, he would always get upset over the littlest things. And I guess he just doesn't understand that we were kids. And on the top of that, our teacher was a smoker. So it kind of sucked because he always smelled like cigarettes, especially when we were around him. But going on with the story, I remember one time when I was a kid and I first entered into my grade five class for my first day of elementary school for being in grade five, at least. I remember he said to everyone in the class, all right, class, just don't be annoying. Don't be dumb. Don't be stupid. And I'll make sure everyone has a good time. All right. I remember he said this and I was actually kind of threatened. To be honest, I didn't want to be in that classroom and knowing how many people in my classroom are actually kind of already terrified of him, it made sense. And on top of that, I remember my first day of grade five when I went out for nut break, aka recess in a way. I remember I went out and I started talking to some other people in other classes and they all said that we had the worst teacher ever. Honestly, having this teacher was the worst thing ever and we're just going to call the teacher Mr. T from now on because it's a lot easier than just calling him the teacher. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember Mr. T had some really weird 
weird issues with him. And obviously, for example, I remember during recess when we were out running around, playing around and hanging out, Mr. T was literally in the corner of our classroom by the door that entered us into our classroom, literally smoking a cigarette. Literally, you know how disgusting that is? Especially in front of an elementary school. I'm surprised he wasn't fired earlier. But going on with the story, things got from weird to worse. Because I remember every time we had a classroom moment, like for example, we were teaching something or trying to learn something on the whiteboard. He would always basically yell at us and basically call us losers for not really actually understanding. For example, he would always ask a question like, all right, class, so what is the optimal direction of this area? And I remember everyone would just look at each other like, what surface area? And then literally out of nowhere, he would look at all of us saying, all right, Bubba, let's hear you say something. Come on, Bubba, say it. I remember he looked at me and I just looked at him like, dude, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what you're talking about. And the teacher looks at me saying, first off, I'm not your dude. Go outside, sit down, and wait for the principal to come by. Wait, what? I was so confused he was upset at me because I literally called him dude, but apparently that's just a part of his anger issues. So obviously I went, I sat down and I basically sat in the hallway until a principal came by and saw me sitting down saying, is everything all right, Bubba? Why are you outside in the hallway? And I said that Mr. T basically put me out here because I called him a dude. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, apparently at this time he was a transgender or something. I don't know what he was, but I called him a dude. And I remember my principal said, oh, it's fine. Just go back inside. And then she ended up opening the door and basically letting me back in. And Mr. T didn't say anything, which is really dumb because I thought I was supposed to learn a lesson or something when I get in trouble, but he didn't teach me anything. Anyways, guys, going on with the story, I remember basically when the first day of grade five ended, I hated it. I remember going back to my parents' car that they picked me up in and I started crying saying, I'm in the worst class ever. I remember my parents looked at me saying, what do you mean, Bubba? What do you mean the worst class? And I remember complaining to them how I had basically the most menacing, most rudest, most angrily teacher in the planet. My parents obviously at first thought that I was just being silly. They thought that I was just being that kid that just made everything over dramatic and well, they didn't want to listen to me, which really sucked because I'm not going to lie. I'm actually a really smart kid, okay? Like back when I was in elementary school, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of crazy stories and many people don't believe it and stuff, which is fair enough. Knowing how hard my life was back then, I was actually pretty smart. Like I got to say I'm wiser now because of it. But at the same time, knowing that my parents didn't believe me back when I was a kid, it sucked. And I think we all know this feeling when our parents don't believe us on something, when we know we're right about it, it really hurts us. But over time, I honestly said whatever, and I kept going off my day. I remember I went home, I ended up playing my Xbox, and basically just kept doing my own thing. But then I remember at night when I had to go to bed, I basically was crying that night thinking, I do not want to go back inside that classroom. Because it ultimately sucked. Who knows what was going to happen? But basically, I remember closing my eyes, saying a quick prayer, hoping that Mr. T wouldn't go on my butt cheeks. And basically, I just waited till the next day. The next morning, I woke up, and I went to school with hesitation. I'm not going to lie. When my parents dropped me off, I was hesitating the whole entire time. Time. But I remember I basically walked inside my classroom. I was being my normal self and I sat down and I realized something. Mr. T was literally outside the classroom smoking and apparently was on a phone call with his lover or something. I have no idea. But I decided to listen in because I'm just a curious kid like that. And when I was listening in, I remember he said, oh yeah, these brats are not learning anything. They're so dumb and they don't listen. You know what I mean, honey? Like they're just so dumb or something. But you know what? There's one girl in our classroom who's so annoying. I'm going to make sure she understands her lesson. I remember when he said that, I was actually kind of worried. I didn't know what he meant by that. Learn her her lesson? Didn't he mean like a math lesson? A teaching lesson? I have no idea. But I remember I basically stayed away from the window and I basically went back to my seat hoping that he didn't notice me near him. I remember basically when the class started, uh, the teacher walked in and, you know, as late as usual, he smelled like cigarettes and started teaching the classroom. Obviously, we were all disgusted and we didn't want to even be in there. But then I remember there's one girl in the class who was kind of that brainiac. If you guys don't know what I mean by brainiac, basically it's that one girl in our class who always like puts her hand up for everything, tries to be a smart student. And even though she mentioned in the beginning of the year how she wants to be friends with every teacher, she really actually tried to be friends with every teacher. Like, do you guys know that one student, every school and even high school, they have this where there's basically that one person that tries to be friends with every teacher and it gets so annoying. Anyways, going on with the story. I remember basically I was super angry and I just got annoyed. And I remember this girl kept putting her hand up after Mr. T kept saying questions. But in my mind and back of my head, I was thinking, oh, I wonder who he's talking about outside because I still want to know who he was talking about outside when he was saying an annoying student but the more I thought about it I actually ended up putting the two pieces together. Mr. T hated the student that was really trying to just be friends with him and don't get me wrong like if you guys don't understand when I beat my annoying Mr. T I guess like she was putting her hand up so much to the point where no one else in the class got a turn because if she didn't get picked to you know basically say the answer she would start basically kind of like putting a tantrum and stomping her feet which is a really dumb habit but I mean it is what it is we're just kids anyway. So anyways going off the story, I remember basically 
she had like a major tantrum in the middle of a class because she wasn't picked to answer a very simple basic question and i remember she ended up putting her hand down saying i don't understand why you don't choose me like i literally know the answer i'm smarter than everyone in this classroom and when she said that i remember mr t ended up looking at the student really all angrily and stuff and he ended up walking up to the student saying you know you maybe think you're smart or something but you're dumber to dumb and after that i remember this girl started crying saying why would you say that about me i'm literally trying to be a smart student and then out of nowhere i remember i glance away for a minute i'm just thinking this is funny seeing a girl cry in my class is hilarious but then what mr t ended up doing next was straight up illegal he ended up literally getting his back hand up and slapping her across the face a straight up elementary schooler is that even legal warning for any teachers out there watching this video don't slap your students but i remember basically this teacher ended up slapping her student and she ended up crying like crazy she was crying and crying and crying to the point where she had actually had a red stain on her face because she was so pale white to the point where basically anything could bruise up on her i felt so bad for her. i remember standing up saying mr t did you really just hit her because i felt bad and then mr t was all yeah you know that's what you do students when you want to teach them a lesson that's all you gotta do i remember i was really pissed off and i only did the one thing that my parents taught me when i saw violence in front of me and that's run and get help so i remember i sprinted out of the classroom ran and got help and I went to the principal's office saying, Mr. T hit somebody. Mr. T hit somebody. Yeah, I actually had a lisp back then. Okay, don't make fun of me. But anyways, I remember my principal ended up coming to the classroom, seeing what happened. And basically, Mr. T got suspended. Not fired, suspended. And basically, we had a substitute for a couple days. Honestly, to this day, it really pisses me off what happened. But what ended up happening later on that like school year, I think pissed me off the most. I remember when I saw this teacher flirting with this girl, I remember I pulled out my phone and recorded it. And what he said to this girl was actually insane. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome to a really disgusting story. Now, this story all takes place back when I was in high school, and this was my grade 12 year. So, the year I was graduating and basically getting ready to go through real life. And I remember my grade 12 year, I decided to take law because, well, I didn't really know what I wanted to be in the future, and I thought a lawyer would be a cool one after watching the show Suits. So, I decided to basically, you know, get myself into law class for my grade 12 year. And I remember we always had this teacher that was like really like hard harsh with us during law because obviously the law isn't friendly like it is the law you know law and justice law and order i think we all know like the law is something we take very seriously so we had a really serious teacher at the time that would teach us this but i remember one time during the semester i want to say around like the middle of the year almost he ended up telling us in front of the class okay class so uh i'm gonna be leaving uh, i'm gonna be going for a bit my wife's pregnant and having a kid so i'm gonna make sure i take care of that i'm gonna be gone for like a couple months so you guys will have a new substitute hope everyone's all right with that but if you're not cry about it and then he ended up leaving i remember all of us in the classroom were really confused just looking at each other because well like he just left he didn't even finish class that day but i want to say like 10 minutes later we ended up seeing the school counselor come in and she brought this guy that was well i want to say he looked really young but he was like in his 30s apparently and he basically came up in front of the class and the counselor said okay class so basically uh you guys know what's happening with your original law teacher but we got a substitute that's going to be here for a couple months i remember when i saw this teacher automatically i knew this guy was going to be somewhat trouble because like i'm be free with you he looked really really sus but when it came to all the girls in the classroom one thing i started to realize was that all the girls in there started to stare at him as if he was a hot cake like i am not joking they were like eyes wide open staring at this teacher as if he was like a supermodel which don't get me wrong he was charming but like he was still like way older than us you know what i mean like i found it weird the age gap like there's no way we can find this guy attractive because he's like what 10 years older than us like yikes bro like 100 no no but obviously these girls didn't care they were going through hormones and i guess well i don't know they were all really excited for this new law teacher so it is what it is but i will say this during class that day i remember once the counselor left and he started teaching us law a lot of girls would raise their hands and stuff and you know we'd all participate in law class because well a lot of us that were in there enjoyed it like it was actually fun no matter how serious it was all of us in the classroom enjoyed law and talking about it but one thing i did not like about this teacher is that anytime any guy would raise their hand automatically he would never pick any of the guys to basically you know answer the question he'd always pick girls that had like you know big cherries or he would always pick girls that had the most makeup on like even like there was like an ugly girl in our class and i'm not joking like she was like a zero out of ten and she like wouldn't even get picked it was mostly the girls that would like you know dress up and cake their face and like you know have their cherries almost popping out that were mostly getting picked to answer questions interact with the class and it kind of ruined law for a lot of us after class that day i remember it was lunch and me and all my friends we ended up basically meeting up in the cafeteria and we all 
started to talk about this law teacher that we all hated. Like, it made no sense why he was like this. And honestly, a lot of us were just really upset. But I remember, as all of us were just ranting about this teacher, out of nowhere, one of the girls that were in my law class that cakes her face and basically has her cherries always out because she's always wearing crop tops for some reason, ended up passing by us and said, oh, like, you guys are just jealous because, like, we're smarter than you. Like, maybe, like, actually try in class and maybe you get picked. And she walked away. At that moment, we knew she was just yapping and just being annoying. But one thing was for sure, we were definitely upset. But I gotta say, what ends up happening next made us even more upset. Because I want to say, like, two weeks went by and the teacher never changed. Like, he was always picking favorites. He was always choosing the girls. Like, he was a terrible teacher. But I remember there was one time specifically, after two weeks of him teaching us, where basically he ended up talking about, like, I don't know, civil rights and stuff. And basically, the class was supposed to have, like, a huge debate on this because obviously civil rights is something that, well, I guess the world can never just have a proper understanding of for some reason. And out of nowhere, I remember there was a girl that put her hand up and she's like, oh, like all guys and girls are literally the same thing. Like if the world didn't have guys, like we all be fine. And I remember all the guys just started laughing at her and stuff. And instantly this teacher comes up in front of the classroom and says, everyone quiet right now. Don't be rude to her. All right. Who do you guys think you guys are? I remember all of us went silent because we did not know why he was so upset. And we were all just looking at each other thinking, whoa, like that's kind of insane. And then what he ends up saying afterwards, I got to say was really disgusting because he ended up walking towards the girl, putting his arm around her as if like he was dating this girl and said, you guys going to understand women as beautiful as this girl right here all deserve the same rights as us guys do. When he said this, I didn't know what was worse. The fact that he thought guys had more rights or the fact that he called this girl that was literally in high school, that was literally 17, beautiful. Like at this point, me and the class, we started looking at each other as if like, did we all hear the same thing? looking at each other super confused and this girl she was taking so much pride after that and she was like putting herself on a high horse to the point where all of us were just so annoyed that day it even got to the point where some of the guys ended up leaving the classroom because well they didn't want to be in that environment anymore and i didn't blame them i actually ended up leaving as well and as me and all the guys were just walking down the hallways during class like no joke. All of us were just talking about how we really just wanted to get rid of this teacher. So what me and like four other guys decided to do was basically go to the counselor's office and basically tell on him. And when we went in there, I remember we all sat down with this counselor and I ended up saying, I'm not going to lie to you, ma'am. Like this teacher that you gave us, he only cares about the girls in the classroom. Like he doesn't even talk to us guys. Like he doesn't interact with us. And honestly, the classroom hasn't been the same since he's been there. At this moment, the counselor looked at all of us and saw that we were being really serious about what was going on. And she ended up walking back with us to class to basically figure out what was happening. When we got back in class, I remember the counselor kind of just sat in the back of the class and was observing what was going on. And I am not joking. It was like something snapped in this teacher where he pretended to basically be all inclusive and started like, you know, picking guys instead of just girls. And it was really, really weird because, well, one minute he's acting, you know, like a weirdo with the girls. And the next minute he's acting like a normal teacher. At this moment, we thought maybe like, you know, he learned his lesson. You know, he's not going to do anything weird again. But the next week after, after. I am not joking. Something insane happened where I remember one month went by and he was basically acting the same, you know, with always picking the girls and, you know, basically favoriting the girls in our classroom and even flirting with them in class. Like it was getting super weird because he would call these girls hot. And it got to the point where one time he actually ended up squeezing a girl's cherry in class. Like it was super bad. But I got to say, one of the weirdest things that ended up happening was that after one month of him teaching us, there was a moment where he ended up going in front of the classroom towards the end of class and he looked at all of us saying, all right, class, uh, everyone, good job on everything. Uh, by the way, uh, can I talk to you after class? And he ended up pointing at a girl that was, well, I guess one of his favorites. She ended up nodding her head yes, and all of us guys were confused because she wasn't failing. She didn't do anything wrong during class. So why in the world did this teacher want to talk to her after school? Until after school came around, we started to realize that this teacher had something else in mind, where basically after class that day, me and the guys, we started kind of like looking through the outside window and kind of started looking inside the classroom to see what was going on and why she was there. And the moment this girl ended up walking in after school, I am not joking. Instantly, this teacher ended up walking up to this girl and started cuddling with her, grabbing her and doing a bunch of stuff that a teacher shouldn't do. And literally calling her like his baby and stuff. Like it was so gross. And I remember at this moment, I looked at my friends and said, I'm pulling out my phone right now. And I pulled out my phone. I started recording this just so I can show the principal. And I'm not joking. Right after I got that recording, I ran straight to the principal's office and told on him. Obviously, when I showed the principal, he was in 
disbelief, but obviously I had video evidence, so he believed me. And all of us guys ended up going to basically the same classroom and we ended up getting him in trouble. I remember when we walked into the classroom with the principal and the girl and the teacher saw us there, he got really panicked, the teacher, because, well, you know, he obviously got caught and he knew it. But I think the saddest part was seeing this girl's eyes and realizing that what was going on in that classroom, if I didn't stop it, who knows what would have happened to her. In a way, I don't want to say I saved her life or anything, but I definitely felt better that day. And if you guys would do the same thing and tell on this teacher, then just fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.